Friends, welcome back to another update here. As I covered in my uh, yesterday's video, as I said, as long as we can hold the lows here, I do think we're forming an another shoulder. So we have here a very nice head and shoulders pattern. So here's one shoulder, one shoulder, and here's the head. So right now we made this perfect pattern as we've been talking for the past two weeks, basically. And we're still inside this major pitchfork here. So as long as I've been saying we can stay above this line, the probability of us going to the middle line is going to be very, very high. We can see your price has been ranging and first going up below, above, below. Right now we're again above the 0 0.5 line. So I do think we're going to continue to go higher here on Bitcoin. Uh, something else, very interesting pattern that uh, we also covered in the previous videos is if we take from the highs here to the lows and then to the recent highs, we can see here what a perfect touch of the uh, median line here. So this is the type of patterns you really want to trade. You want to go along here on these median lines because they're the, because they're so highly accurate, these patterns. As you can see, your algorithms always buy at these median lines here. So we've got a perfect bounce at 60,000. So here was a very uh, substantial low. So in my opinion right now, the next target is at around 68,000. Uh, so right now I'm still bullish on the market. Of course, we're still in the sideways uh, patterns. So we have to pay attention to that. But I do think sooner or later we're going to break this downtrend. So we can see here we have a series of lower highs. If we're going to reach the, the pitchfork that I have here, that's going to uh, allow us to break the series of lower highs and we can finally start the uptrend, in my opinion. Right now we have to be cautious though, because if we look at the Ethereum chart here, here's a small, small trade I was taking as a hedge. We can see here on the Ethereum time, time frame, on the four hour, if we take from the highs here to the lows, we're under the 0 0.31 Fibonacci. So this means we're still under resistance. So here, a very small trade here as a hedge. You can see here, the wicks we're getting above algorithms are still selling Ethereum. So this is putting some pressure on the altcoins. But overall, if we go on the weekly time frame on Ethereum, as I've been mentioning, we're right now sitting at critical support. I don't want to see Ethereum uh, close below this line. This can be very, very bearish in my opinion. But overall, I still uh, holding my bullish uh, bias from the lows here to the highs and to the recent lows. It's just a matter of time before we go to the median line here. So as soon as we can break uh, out from this downtrend, especially here on Ethereum, I think it's going to be very, very bullish, especially for altcoins. So right now, watching closely here on Ethereum, this is the most important chart you want to watch right now from the highs here to the lows. So you want us ideally to break the 0 0.31 here. That's why I opened a hedge in case we start going lower. At least I have a trade open that's going to give me profits if we uh, start dropping. If we go higher, I will hit a stop loss, but this overall will give profits to my other trades because I do think uh, I'm still holding my bullish bias at the moment. So this is something to look at. Something else very interesting here is on the total three. So the total altcoin market cap, we can see here, we're still in this very, very annoying range right now. We're just waiting to break out of it. If we go away from the log scale, you can see here, we're bouncing not only from the log scale, because you know, the log scale, we've got the, basically the bottom here at the 0 0.31. But if we go on the log scale, you can see here on the daily time frame, especially how altcoins bounced again from the 0 0.31. So I liked how we took, took out the previous lows here. We've got a week below and right now we have a green candle. So you can see here, this is one reason in my opinion, why altcoins are pumping in my opinion today. So right now we're basically just forming some kind of triangle here on the altcoins. So I do think it's just a matter of time before we break to the upside on the altcoins. So right now you want to be in the stronger altcoins in my opinion. One of the my favorite ones is NIR as I've been talking for a long time. So you can see NIR had a very interesting pattern today. We're be below this resistance here. If you come here on the four hour, we broke below. We had a nice demand zone here that we tested once, but we broke below it. So we basically hunted all these stops here on NIR. And right now NIR came down, hunted all the stops. And right now it's basically going parabolic. Uh, for today, one of the top gainers is actually near today. So let's see if we can get another retest of the resistance. The more times we test the resistance, the weaker it gets. So I do think near is just a matter of time before we break this resistance. And once we break it, I do think near is going to very quickly go to 15. Something to pay attention to, of course, here on the four hour or near is we take from the lows here to the highs and to the recent lows and we use the shift pitchfork. You can see here near has just hit temporary uh, resistance. So I do think we might see a sell off here on near and this could allow us if we go on the two hour to find a nice entry here on the long side. So we take from the lows here to the highs. Alliance also very nice with a demand zone here. So around six, uh, 7.1, sorry, 7.1 would be a very good long entry in my opinion for near. You could take here and then you can adjust your stop loss according to your risk and then have uh, quite a high target for near. So this is something I would look at right now. 
because we do need to break this resistance on near to be bullish again so the else i wanted to cover was solana so let me find my solana chart here solana which i covered in my previous video sol usdt so we come here on the solana chart something i mentioned in my previous video if we come here on the four hour and we'll go away from the log scale as i was been mentioning in my videos i do think that solana is going to come down here with the the median line here perfectly so this was a perfect perfect prediction we're having on solana and right now where it's playing out just as we have drawn here uh, as long as altcoin still can uh, and as long as ethereum can hold and bitcoin as well i do think altcoin is gonna altcoins will continue to go higher and i do think so so will solana so we had a perfect bottom here you can see here the volume has not been the strongest uh, i would like to see even more so we got a little bit of volume but i would ideally want to see more volume for me to be more bullish something else we can also look at to try to predict price is from the lows here to the highs and then to the recent lows we can see here on the original where let me just readjust we're kind of uh, still outside this pitchfork so we would ideally want to see come inside it before then we can continue trend higher i do think it's possible we reach this middle line but it's going to be very very tricky in this case we're going to need a lot a lot of uh uh, impulsive movements but overall uh, we're still as long as we can stay above the median line here which we have done so far i'm very very bullish on solana as well so there are many altcoins that i'm really uh, bullish on that have been holding very strong especially during yesterday's dump we got a very nice rebound here so that's something to be uh, looking at but overall i'm still looking at this pitchfork here because this is what actually gives me the most bullish here on bitcoin uh, as long as we can stay inside this pitchfork here i think it's just a matter of time before we go to 68,000. so if you like the daily updates make sure to subscribe join my discord link down below and see you again tomorrow yeah trendsetter whoa league of my own it don't get better no read what i wrote i'm a bestseller yeah reach for my goals